the pleasure of watching the dinner. The dinner, which is a French no, no Italian, Italian Italian film. Ciao. Yeah. Heard that so much. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but yes. Um. Senti, troviamo una scusa questa sera. No. Ma tu ti rendi conto che tuo fratello mani così si muove? Hai paura di morire? Ci porta sempre nello stesso posto, ma da dieci anni. Eh. Avete già iniziato? Eh no, stavamo aspettando te. Io me ne vado. Dai, aspetta, vengo con te. Ma che fai? Come è andata ieri sera? Ma com'è tutte queste domande? Sei tornato tardi. <ride> queste immagini che vi presentiamo in anteprima sono molto forti consigliate solamente a un pubblico adulto. Eri tu. Eri tu con Benedetta. Ben è venuto a trovarmi, mi ha parlato. E mi ha detto che sono stati due suoi amici. Secondo me è stata lei. Insieme a Michele. E allora di che cosa stiamo parlando? Io non capisco. Tu pensi quello che è stato aperto per omicidio. Sono loro? Io lo conosco, mio figlio. Da te lo voglio sapere, dimmi se c'eri! Sei proprio un cretino! Tu stai attascinando il figlio in questa situazione tutta la vita di cosa? Che non posso se non sono di vero paura che vedo? Io lo sento che si sta per male! The dinner is pretty much dealing with parenthood. Like th- these three parenthood. movies are about. If there's a theme this week, it's parenthood. Parenthood, really? Wow. Yeah. I had. I mean, watching yeah. them, I noticed, but yeah, putting it. Together. Yeah, no, it's about it's about uh, relationships and parenthood. Yes. Yeah. Every movie ever, episode four. Parenthood. parenthood. <laughs> but not the movie Parenthood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or the TV show Parenthood. Wow, it's a lot of Parenthood. Yeah. But okay, so this movie basically deals with a younger and older brother. And their spouse, spouses. The older brother is a lawyer. Yeah. yeah. And the younger brother is a doctor. The way they introduce this to us is... Oh, that opening. Yeah. Yeah, so the movie just opens with a uh, traffic incident where someone cuts a guy off. Yeah. And then kind of talks shit over the car. And then one of the drivers has a kid in his car, pulls over the other driver... Takes a baseball bat out and is gonna go beat. The, he chased the, the, this dude down for blocks in the car. Yeah, with his which kid is a, is very aggressive. Like we saw what happened. Yeah, it was this dude did literally want to kill him. Yeah, yeah, and he gets out of the car with the bat and he's gonna go bust that guy open. But yeah. that dude ends up just shooting. The yeah, guy. that dude didn't play no fucking games. The second he opened the door, you shots fired. It's weird. He shot him and then he's like screaming and he's like crying like. He was gonna kill like like he didn't realize. He didn't really want to like it. It was spurred him on. He didn't want to take a bat to the face. Yeah, but he didn't want to kill this guy either. Yeah, but it was also one of those scenes where it's like, do you shot the dude cold blank? Yeah, like you. And apparently that guy was a cop. Yeah, and this dude, yeah, he's just like the way he justified it. He gets out the car crying, and he's just like, I'm a cop, everybody. I'm God a damn cop, it, it's, okay, don't, yeah. it's fine. Which, it, as we know nowadays, that I guess you get away with it, but yeah, it's controversial for sure. Yeah, yeah, especially this is uh, takes place in Italy, so it's like yeah. another you know, it's like completely separate. It's a white cop, else. white dude. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then you see the kid. I guess a stray bullet must have got the kid. Yeah, it the was kid unclear. was in the car. I, it, at that point, I didn't notice. It was. I didn't I, even I recognize that, that it was the kid. Thing. Yeah, I but, thought there was, there was this blood from the dad. Yeah. But apparently, the kid got a stray bullet to um, the spine somehow. I don't even know how the fuck that hit his spine. I don't know. It made no sense to me. Um so that's how we get introduced to the young doctor. Yes. Yeah, so the brother is operating on the kid while I mean the young, the younger brother is operating yeah. on the kid while the older brother is defending the cop that shot and killed this man. Yeah. And this uh sounds like the uh the older brother, the lawyer. We'll just call him lawyer. Yeah, lawyer uh, man. The lawyer uh he's a defense attorney uh and he just takes whatever case he yeah. wants. So this is where as the conflict. As long as it's within the legal limits where he can defend this person, he yeah. will defend them. Yeah, no matter what, even if they're in the wrong or whatever. Yeah. And the younger brother 
has a moral code that's like a really strong moral code with yeah. no leeway, which we'll see get scratched at and yeah. deteriorate over time. That's why I, I know this movie kind of dragged, but it wasn't like Mansfield Park dragging. It was more so like like you actually get to see these people develop. Yeah, and it wasn't a long movie either. It was like yeah, eighty minutes yeah. or something like that. Hour twenty. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you get introduced to the, the both yes. uh, both uh, main characters, which are two brothers. Yep. Uh, you get introduced to their wives. Uh, the the when older the, the older lawyer that wasn't his wife, right? Was that a that new was wife? his? It was a new wife. Okay, okay. The stepmother of his daughter. Yeah. And uh, the lawyer basically comes in when they, we get introduced to him. He comes in. He's like, "Bring my dinner to my office. I got stuff to do." And you just see the different relationship between both families yeah the older lawyers in a bigger house yeah um and their family's very cold and yeah. separate uh and then the the younger doctor is in like an apartment yeah small apartment complex really close family yeah uh, early set up like their son seemed a little distant His but i think son, that's most teenage boys yeah but even when i first saw that kid i was like this kid looked crazy like even oh you know he, he looked like an description um, aside i was looked, like this kid's distant he looked like a murder asshole person yeah he looked like that kid in school that you would say hi to and he would say something horrible I probably wouldn't say hi to this kid honestly I'd be like he'd be that kid you reach out to of like I'm just gonna be cool to this kid and then he would (laughs) because he might shoot this bitch yeah yeah. (laughs) (laughs) but then like he'll say something smart ass and you'll be like oh that's why no one talks to you and you just like walk away yeah just slowly walk away like okay I try have a good one buddy um so so this movie this yeah. probably won't take too long to explain no. the movie because a lot of it's like little it's small context. moments yeah because yeah. there's a lot there's I feel, felt like there was a lot of silent scenes a where lot. it's just like body language and just like reactions to stuff yeah um so the two some kids, of the shots they got were really yeah. nice so the the son's uh, the the doctor's son is Michelle Mi- Michele 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 yeah and then <laughs> the um, other one, the daughter is Benny Benny of Benedita the yeah, the lawyer's daughter Benny. So the the rich girl, and the and not, he's not poor. He's not poor, but, but he, I mean, because this dude's a he's a well off surgeon. Yeah, they just choose a more modest life. Yeah, yeah. So it comes from a modest family, and the yeah. other one comes from a, a rich family. Uh, they're at a party. Yes. And Michelle. Michele. Michele. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. I, I just kept reading as Michelle. I kept when I was watching it. I, when I see it, I would think Michelle, and then yeah. they say it, and I'm like, okay. He gets super wasted. Yeah, and leaves really early from the party. Yeah. It had to be the way she described it. It seemed to me it was before midnight. Yeah, and he was already completely gone, and she seemed not drunk that yeah. much. Like she was fooling around with some dude. The but... mom had talked to the teacher, and the teacher said that he doesn't interact with other people. But it's not a problem with making friends, yeah. which should have really come off at the time to me. It didn't, but it really should have come off as this kid's antisocial in a psychological way. Yeah, yeah, and he had he kind of had that look. He was like yeah. kind of kept to himself throughout the movie. Um, so they're at a party, and he's like, "I'm leaving." She's like, "What? It's really yeah, she's early, out there. and you're drunk. Let me go with you." Pause. Can we talk about their relationship? I could have sworn those two cousins had a thing for each other. I mean, they were really close. Really close. I I don't know how that... She left a room where she's about to fuck some dude at the party to go off with him. But I also think it's because he was stumbling drunk. You think she just cared about him? Because, not not necessarily that she cared, because I I feel like they've proven that these two kids don't give a fuck about each other. They don't care about anything. It was more of, he's at my party, he got drunk at my party. If he fucks up. I can't have another party type of situation. Yeah. I so, thought it was funny when the dudes see him going in, in the refrigerator and they're like, hey, you don't live here, man. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Get out. And he's like, Benny's my cousin, you fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. damn, bro, you, you, I live here, basically. Yeah, yeah. And um, so she goes with him and something horrible happens. Yes, an event. Like, they don't show it at the time, but... Next thing you know... The mother's watching a TV show. Crime Watch, it's Crime called. Watch, yeah. And they show a video that was recorded on security cameras of a male and female teenager stomping the shit out of this, like... Homeless hobo, woman. Hobo. Homeless woman. Yeah. And... Uh, they can't identify because it's like a... It's like it's a, a security it's camera. A, it's like a closed-circuit security camera far Pretty away. Pretty much like in Civil War. How... 
you know, you you see that crash when Tony Stark's parents die, but Oh yeah, yeah. But you can't make out a face, it's all like scramble, it's yeah. a black and white thing and it's dark. Yeah. Like all they can identify are it's teenage male woman and they even end in a teenage, they just know Yeah. They, they just know their youth because they were riding a scooter instead of driving a car. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, there's someone not recording with us in the other room laughing, so it <laughs> kinda of threw us off. Um, so she, the only thing the mother can go off of is it happened the night that Benny and, and, um, Michele, Michele was, were hanging out and he was wearing a white jacket Yes, and he has that a white jacket. exactly like his. Yeah. And he had the same type of hair cause he has like, she even like, recognized the scooter, but it was like millions oh, yeah. of kids have those things. Well, cause yeah, like, I mean, even a lawyer has a scooter. Yeah, right? exactly. So she immediately confronts the kid and is like passive aggressively kind of yeah just um calls him to like the table and is like did you do anything and he's like no yeah he's like no i didn't do shit and then which they don't show say what he says at first i thought he was gonna be honest i thought he's gonna tell her they seem yeah, like yeah. they had that type of relationship where he could be honest with her yeah but even then it's like yeah i beat up that homeless woman i can totally see why yeah. he wouldn't say that oh and looking back when we first get introduced to the fact that Benny and Michele are cousins, Michele, or Benny comes over and they, she goes into Michele's room and they're watching like world star, basically watching people just Italian world, Italian star. Italian world star. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they're just like loving watching Italian yeah, they take world pleasure star. in this. And even though the lawyer comes in there and he's just like, what are you guys watching? They're like, oh, we're watching this super violent thing. Like, they kind of call it out. Like, yeah. yeah, this guy, these guys are beating the hell out of each other. Which look- these kids play a part that they accidentally did this to this woman and shit so well that it even made me question, like, didn't I see them enjoying yeah. shit like this earlier? Like, Yeah, yeah, that's it's one of those things that... Uh, it fucks with you. Yeah, I almost forgot about that, but I believe the lawyer brought it up later. But uh, regardless, um, Benny denies or uh, M- Michelle, M- yeah, Michele. Michele, he denies it, and the mother's yeah. like, "Okay, I believe you. I don't believe you, but I believe you." And then Benny, Benny goes straight to her dad and tells her two of her friends did it. Yeah, she her thing was like, "I'm worried because they might have been from my party." Yeah, and I don't want this to come back to me. Yeah, and then the lawyer, because he's a lawyer, I guess, immediately calls her bluff yeah. and goes... He knows his daughter, and he's a fucking lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah. I know this is you two. Yeah. I'm going to watch this video with my wife, and this whole... I really like that scene. Like, the whole time that you see each kid talking to their parent and the lawyer talking to the wife, it's just music playing, and you see them talking, and you get the context of what they're saying later, which adds a little mystery but yeah. at the same time doesn't beat you over the head with telling you things multiple times. Yeah, yeah. And it also shows you how like the the, the close relationship. Yeah, the the close family which is the 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 son and the uh the doctor. Yeah. They immediately believe the son. And then the family that's a little distant, the lawyer immediately are like you're fucking lying yeah. type of thing. So after they watch the video uh, the lawyer goes to the doctor and he's like... He doesn't know how to tell He knows his his brother. Yeah, he's like, hey, uh, that video of the homeless woman getting beat, those are our kids. And yeah. he's just like, what? Bullshit. And he's like, like, Benny came to me super weird. I know she did it. Yeah, and after looking at it with my wife, um, both of us think it was... No. Yeah, and, he, and um, he's immediately like, we need to come up with a plan. I could be their attorney. They probably won't go to jail because they're... No, he said he would not be their attorney. He, oh, really? Okay. Remember when he asked... Before he told him, and he was like, um, just kind of beating around the bush like something came up, this, that. Yeah. And he's like, are you going to defend this person? He's like, no, not this one. Yeah, but he t- but he gave him the background of just like, they're not probably going to go to jail. Yeah. Because they're minors from outstanding families. Yeah, with no criminal record. No whatsoever. criminal records. They'll probably get some probation. To their story, they said that the woman was leaning on their car and they just wanted to move her. They didn't mean to seriously injure her. Yeah. Which, in the movie, they kept saying it looks like Benny's just moving around and Michele is stomping him or her. But yeah. to me, when I watched that video, I was like, this... Benny's stomping the shit out this kid. Oh, no, this because eventually too. we get to see it. Yeah, we saw it, but before that even. Oh, I yeah, was before just like, that, it yeah. It looked like it. Yeah. The very first time we saw it, I was like, both these kids are stomping this lady. Yeah, and you see the video eventually. Or, like, in Benny was ready to throw him under the bus. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah she, she was super cold, and it shows you that they weren't that close after all. Yeah. Um, and the 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 doctor guy's just like, "Fuck that! It wasn't my kid. We're not going to turn him in." And the lawyers just no. like, "Well, yeah, yeah, yeah." The lawyers like, "If we turn him in, or if they turn themselves in, it'll go easier on him, and it'll this thing will blow over." And he's yeah. like, "Fuck that! We're not doing that." Something he said struck a nerve though, because when he by the time the doctor got home, he he had it in his mind like, "Yeah." This yeah. had to be my son. Like, yeah. And the the lawyer, after talking with everyone, is just like, all right, you know what? I'm not going to turn him in. Yeah. We're not going to turn him in. We're just going to do whatever. Yeah. And then and he The doctor listens. starts getting real weird. Yeah, the doctor, you can tell he's troubled. Like, he's dealing with all this shit. And, yeah. like, the fact that his brother, who is usually, like, no morals, mm-hmm. now suddenly has a conscious... And is well, no, he has. It's still at this point. He feels like this dude has no morals, and you can't get a, you can't get a read on the doctor for a while. Yeah, for a long time. He basically chokes me, Kelly, to find out who. Yeah, yeah. If he was him, and me, Kelly finally breaks down. He's like, "It was me." Right? Cry in my room. Fuck you guys. Yeah. Even though I just killed a lady because at this point she was out of the ER and was actually dead. Yeah, yeah. She was in serious condition or critical yeah. condition. Uh when the report happened and yep. then a couple days later she died because and I, I think she that's was a what... homeless lady who wasn't getting the attention she probably should have yeah and who knows how long it took him to find her and yeah. stuff like that and so the, I, I think that's when like when they find out that she died that's when we see the doctor do the choking yeah. thing because he's like oh this this got super serious this like, went from you guys literally killed a person yeah this went, <laughs> this went from assault to manslaughter mm-hmm. or murder and the way the lawyer keeps trying to identify it he's like it's involuntary manslaughter because they were just trying to move them yeah. move this person and, and you see time. in the video like they're stomping the shit out of her but what probably finally killed her is when they dragged, dragged her and her, her head across. hits the curb yeah and then they just leave her there yeah so I guess they're the, the lawyer's thing was like that's when we can say it was involuntary because they were moving her and then she died there yeah. but he had no way of explaining why they were stomping the shit out of her mm-hmm. she was passed out so it's one of those things where it's just like they could have just picked her up and been like hey move but instead they chose to stomp the shit out of her yeah yeah this movie was dark it was really, but I like dark movies. That's probably yeah. why I liked it so much. Um, um, so the wife of the doctor, her mom instincts just kick in. She went from being like moral, the lawyer's family is asshole. She still was a bitch to them, even though they were really trying to help. But yeah. she instantly went from, now that we know this is our son, we covering this up. Like I would have told you any other situation to go ahead, turn him in. But this is our kid now, so yeah. And then they, her reaction is really what gets the doctor confused. Like, you can never get a read on him. I couldn't get a read yeah, on well, him. Yeah, because it was one of those things where he had his moral code at the beginning, and then when it came to his family, he was ready to just throw it away. Yeah. And do whatever. I thought he was going to turn them in. The kids thought he was going to turn them in. Yeah, but then eventually he was like, no, I can't do that to my son. Yeah. And so eventually it seemed like the lawyers was like, okay, we're not going to turn this in. This is going to blow over, whatever. But then he hears the kid's discussing yeah over the baby monitor and yeah. they're joking about it they meant to do this yeah, they, they didn't give a fuck they and didn't mean to kill the lady but they were like man that's kind of cool that we did yeah. kill her and yeah what if we had set her ablaze yeah like yeah. dude you were gonna burn this yeah. lady yeah and and you Fucking just you just kids. find out that they're just asshole privileged kids and then they and they think that the lawyer is just some asshole that's gonna get them out yeah, of it yeah and and that it's funny i wonder if that's what set the lawyer off of he this. was already like he I was think, already pissed yeah because he was he like i them, think i'm gonna have to turn them in regardless. yeah because he hears them talk about like how they enjoyed it and they would, wouldn't mind doing that and doing worse yeah and then they then end it with like and he th- this guy doesn't A care red- he's just gonna he's just gonna He's going to defend us. He's going to get us out of this. Who cares? Yeah. And so a regular theme of the movie, the reason it's called the dinner is because every week the brothers, the brothers and their, and their spouse yeah. meet for um, dinner. dinner at the same restaurant. The wife of the doctor hates it for whatever reason. She's just kind of weird. Yeah. And so when they finally meet after hearing, after the lawyer is heard what the kids did say, he even goes up. And he's thinking, like, I'm about to make my brother happy. Like, I am going to turn these kids in. Yeah. I'm going to lo- lighten the load from them. The second it even shows that he's about to consider turning them in, the doctor is, like, 
blood rage. Like, yeah, this he, dude does not like that at all. He's he, like, you're about to ruin my kids. Like, yeah, and he even tried to fight him at one point. At and, the, he lost all discretion. And the lawyer is just like, I thought this is what you want, and this is the right thing to do, so you right? should want to do this. He's like, I've been stressing because I really love you, brother. You might hate me, but, like, I really want what's best for you, and I'm really yeah. trying to, like, make it work with you. And it's also the, the, the smart move to make because eventually they would probably find the kids and, and by hiding it's going to make it worse. It. Yeah. yeah. So it's like everyone's going to go to jail. Then. This dude loses his bar instantly. Yeah. And that doctor probably can't do anything can't after do that. Can't do anything he's working on kids. So. Yeah. But so, you know whatever like so, he chokes his brother in the restaurant and vows to kill him yeah. if he tells anything. Yeah. So then and dinner's her, over. Yeah. The brother made it the lawyer made it very clear that no matter what you say, like, you can't force me to do anything, yeah. and I literally am going to tell yeah. because and even his, be his even his wife doesn't really agree with turning him in. Like, yeah. everyone's kind of against the lawyer. Yeah, and the lawyer for once is being just, and they weren't going to go to jail. Yeah, no, they probably weren't. Like, if anything, they were going to go for, like... Involuntary manslaughter. Yeah, and, you know, probably probation until they're 18 or something, or uh, yeah. maybe a year in jail at the most. At the most. Because they're still minors, so they would probably just go into their 18, and they're like 17 right now. So it's yeah. like they would go for a year. Um, and so, so this so then, is where this movie kind of just wraps up. Like, yeah. after choking his brother, him and his wife, just, the doctor just leaves. And the lawyer and his wife hang around for a little while, but then leave. Yeah, they go, they're waiting for the valet to come with their car. Yeah, but the wife forgot her purse inside, so she runs in. As soon as she gets in sight of the window... You just see them look at each other, and the screen cuts off, and you hear a, a car run that dude over. Like, yeah. Flat yeah. out. So, the doctor... Doctor and his dumbass kids most likely in jail now. Yeah. I wanted those kids to die. Yeah, dude. Like those <laughs> I wanted those them kids to die. were assholes. It's a but, horrible thing to say, but I wanted those kids to die. But it's one of those things where this is a like good commentary for like where the current generation of kids are, because you see more and more of kids promoting like yeah. the violent video shit. I mean, World Star is a fucking thing. You know, star is a thing. You know, and, and kids today don't understand that. And most of them are just like, they do horrible things. They don't give a shit. Like to them, world star is an accomplishment, whereas to us, it's like entertainment. But it's shaming. No, well. not even to me. It's entertainment. Some at this of it, point. not all. Of when it. it first came around, it's entertainment. But now it's world just Star's like been a, long, a long time. When it, you remember what it used to be like oh, back God. in the day? Like God, now, it, love. It looked, yeah, <laughs> it used to look like a horrible MySpace page. Yes, where you. Like, would, you would just like do a YouTube quick time video. Like read it in my page or my space. Yeah, uh, but like I remember when I came around, it was like, oh, this is kind of funny. But then after a while, I was just like, oh, this is this is all terrible. You, you find some cool things. You're like, these people exist. <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> but the ones where some little asshole fuckers doing shit they should no, but be that's doing. where it kind of devolved into. Yeah. But yeah, this basically is like a commentary on that type of thing where like young people just don't care and they they really have no morals or none cares um so what did netflix give think this was gonna netflix be for thought that was gonna be a two and a half for me okay and i honestly gave that a five okay yeah so uh netflix gave that a 2.5 yeah. uh for me i have here in my notes a three but I, i'm gonna probably go with a four okay. it was just, uh, it was a really just good movie. yeah i really liked how it was filmed and everything the only thing that hurt the movie was I'm hoping is a Netflix problem and it's because if oh, you watch God. this yes. the subtitles are like f- 10 seconds delayed it yeah. feels like I, I it was re- like I thought it was my PS4 just so just stop watching this movie I was like yeah. dude I'm liking this but what? so so th- it would be really because it's all in Italian so if you don't speak Italian it's really hard to follow the movie sometimes because They'll be talking to each other, and you won't know who said what yes. because there's a 10 second delay. So it took me a while to like catch up to like how to follow figure this movie. out who was talking about what. And even at, by the end, like I, I got it about 90. percent Yeah, yeah, because I might have missed some stuff. I, I almost want to see if it's like this on everything because I, I, it, we use Netflix for yeah. our stream or uh, our we podcast. Aren't, we aren't torrenters. We watch Netflix, guys. Yeah. Which is just like a little bit better because someone's getting paid somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it was one of those scenes where if you watch this on Netflix, I don't know if it's just Netflix or not, but the the subtitles are way off. Be wary. Yeah, so, so it was one of those scenes where like I thought don't maybe... Don't drink and watch this movie. Yeah, I thought it was my PS4, so then I turned my PS4 off, and then I used Chromecast on my phone. It was still the same thing, so it's something wrong with Netflix's yep. video file. And come on, man, it's the 21st century. 
subtitles should be simple. But the, the problem is, it's a small movie that probably that not enough people have complained about. Nah, man, that gives them no excuse for timing the subtitles wrong. No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's is, so it's my, There's so many movies on Netflix, not many people probably have complained about this, and True. they're probably not even aware. Netflix, expect a tweet, man. Yeah. I really yeah. enjoyed this movie, and you guys kind of fucked it for yeah. me a little. Yeah. We, or we, whoever it thought it was, not just you, Netflix. Yeah, because they could have just got the file from the company, and the company's like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, Netflix is like, this is what you gave us. Yeah. <laughs> like, if I could read Spanish, I would have put the subtitles in Spanish to see if those are caught up. <laughs> right, it was always English, Yeah, but whatever. Um, All right, uh, so so that was the dinner, which that was another one we took. Minutes, yeah, this is going to be a long podcast. These were substantial movies, though. Yeah. Yeah.